Hey, what's up everybody? We want to welcome you to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Daily Recap, where we give you a recap of all of the hot topics that we covered that day. You can catch them in their long format and also catch it fully streaming for free on Apple Podcasts. Um, As you guys know, the Super Bowl just concluded and everyone is talking about it. Is Patrick Mahomes, you know, Patrick Mahomes, is he better than Tom Brady? All of these different things, right? And we recently got the figures that came out uh, stating the following that the Super Bowl brought in a record breaking, according to NFL ESPN, 103.3 million viewers, the most viewed uh, television program event, whatever you want to call it, in the history of the United States. Never, ever happened before. Now, what do you know about the NFL? <clears throat> the NFL is the number one sport in the United States, the biggest sport by far. Um, we even spoke about this a few weeks ago to Marcellus Wiley asking him why that is, uh, why the NFL is such a bigger draw than every other sport. And he said, because it's, it's easier to consume. It's not like the NBA where things are happening so fast, whereas the NFL, you can digest it and all of that. Um, so <clears throat> he gave his explanation, right? NFL is a very big deal. And as you guys know, the biggest NFL person at ESPN is Pat McAfee, right? Biggest person at ESPN with the Pat McAfee show. So yesterday, they were having this conversation around <clears throat> who's the biggest draw in sports. The question was LeBron James <clears throat> or Patrick Mahomes. They're going back and forth. Pat McAfee says LeBron, the other the other panelist says, uh, excuse me, Pat McAfee says uh, uh, Mahomes, the other panelist says Mahomes, and then Shannon Sharp said LeBron. In the midst of their conversation, though, however, it got to a point where Molly Kern brought up Lionel Messi. And they were like, Pat McAfee was like, yeah, man, he's, he, he's, he's, of course, Lionel Messi. And then he goes off and to say, but soccer is a horrible 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 sports to watch sport to watch and when he said that i was actually floored because i could not believe that those words came out of a professional commentator on espn so what we want to do is we want to play exactly what pat mcafee had to say here and then we're going to come back and continue on the show take a listen to what he had to say here Hey, Shannon, I'm going to say this. When I was in high school, Braun was a couple years older than me. His high school team, St. X, came and played the Pennsylvania All-Stars in Pittsburgh. The entire state of Pennsylvania put together an All-Star team to play against LeBron James's high school team. And I was in high school. Sold out the arena. LeBron yeah. has been selling out arenas literally since he's like 15, 16 years old. So I can understand why you're saying what you're saying. And then you think about Omar, who runs ESPN social media. He's literally made an entire career being considered one of the greatest interneters of all time off of LeBron James and LeBron James's family. Let's not even talk about just LeBron James. On the internet, he's been able to do it. But right now, I mean, if this question was asked like 10 years ago, I think to Molly's point, five years ago, maybe even four years ago before Patrick Mahomes has become mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes, I think LeBron James might be the answer. And I... I understand complete because he still sells out every a building he goes into Shannon every yeah. building that LeBron goes into is selling out that is just how it's always been so I can see how that's uh yeah I, I, do, mean, think pretty big the, I do think the messy takes pretty interesting though yeah I mean look Go, at what he's done sure. if we're talking global box office I mean look Go, at what he's done sure. if we're talking global box office what and he did coming to Miami to what I about Ronaldo? Yeah, but like suddenly I'm in. Suddenly I'm into soccer. Like what is this? What about, yes, me, too, me too. It's terrible to watch. I know. To watch, we're, we're on it's the bandwagon. To watch. Pat, Pat, it, we got right it, on the bandwagon. When he said that, I was floored. Totally floored that Pat McAfee would say that soccer is a horrible sports to watch now i can see if he said i don't enjoy watching soccer fine i don't enjoy watching maybe uh, uh another sport hell i don't know hockey whatever the hell it is fine but to then say it's a horrible sport to watch you lose a lot of credibility as a sports commentator when you say a statement like that that is an extremely myopic thing to say for so many reasons. We just mentioned at the beginning of the show, the Super Bowl brought in 103.4 million viewers, according to NFL ESPN viewers. 
The last World Cup brought in over 4 billion viewers. Let me give you guys some other information. I asked, I asked the question, how many people watch the English Premier League? If you don't know what that is, then I don't know what to say to you. The English Premier League is the sports is the most watched sports league in the world broadcast in 212 territories to over 643 million homes with a potential audience of 4.7 billion people. Are you telling me that all of those people watching soccer are not enjoying what they're watching? Is that what you're telling me? Because you don't like soccer. So therefore, what they're watching is what? They just must be there wasting their time. When you see Lionel Messi walk around, name the other athlete walking on planet Earth, apart from a very select few, like maybe Michael Jordan and others, that get that that gets that type of reaction. <clears throat> Forget about Lionel Messi. Let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo has 621 million followers. He's the most followed person in the world. Lionel Messi is at 500 million. These two gentlemen have over a billion people following them around the world. Over a billion. Maybe you've been living under a rock. You, heard of, you ever heard of a footballer by the name of Mbappe? The guy that Saudi Arabia offered over a billion dollars or $900 million or whatever it was for one year. Did you hear about that? When they were off in PSG, I think 230 something million dollars to break his contract. Why do you think they would do that? Did anybody watching this show see the World Cup? The last World Cup between um, France and Argentina? I saw it. It was one of the most entertaining sport sporting uh, games, whatever you want to call it, I have ever seen in my life. Regardless of the sport. Regardless of the sport. And I don't even watch football like that, soccer like that. I don't follow any leagues, nothing. But to say that soccer is a horrible sport to watch, you're doing a terrible disservice to your audience and it is it is extremely myopic. That is a flat out disgraceful comment. If you say you don't enjoy it, that's one thing. But to say it's a horrible sport to watch. Do you know cricket is the second biggest sport in the world in terms of viewership? I don't watch cricket. I don't watch it. But I would never say it's a horrible sport to watch. You lose people when you have a sport that's, that gets billions of people watching to then turn around and say, it's a horrible sport to watch. What? What? Who says that? And Pat McAfee is supposed to be somebody that's worth over $100 million, well-traveled, and you let a comment like that come out of your mouth? That it's a horrible sport to watch? Regardless if you and I, whether or not you and I watch football is irrelevant. What's important is that there are a lot of people that watch football that get more worked up over football than any other sport in the world. It's not even close. So whenever you hear these people talk about the biggest athletes in the world in the United States, they're not serious. They're saying the world, but it's not the world. They're just talking about the United States. That's all. They make it seem like it's the world. And unfortunately, that's why some Americans believe that the world is, is, is only in the United States. Anybody talking about the biggest athletes in the world and they start enlisting people and you don't hear Bep, uh, Mbappe, you don't hear Messi, you don't hear Ronaldo. They're not serious. You're not even serious. Now, some people said, well, it's not fair because soccer is, is watched all over the world. But the NBA isn't. What kind of ignorant nonsense is that? I'm in Nigeria and I can see football, uh, bas uh, basketball. 
There are people in China that can see basketball. There are people in Italy that can see basketball. There are people in Germany that can see basketball. What? Why are people so stupid? What are you talking about? That is, is, is watch like as if what? So only people in the United States can watch basketball? What are we talking about? You can watch it everywhere. I watch Formula One. And it's a sport that takes place all over the world. What? That was one of the dumbest ignorant comments I have ever heard come out of the mouth of a sports personality. That right there was ignorant. Because there's nothing to prove that apart from his opinion. You could have said it's a horrible sport for me to watch. Horrible for me. But to say a horrible sport, that is the stupidest thing I've heard in a very long time. I am sorry to say it. That was stupid. As you guys know, the Kansas City Chiefs just won the Super Bowl um, in a spectacular fashion, in a thriller, overtime victory. Uh, and at the end of that game, excuse me, forget about the end of the game. Prior to going into that game, people were already saying, some people were already saying like Chris Mad Dog Russo and others that Patrick Mahomes is the most talented or the, the best football player at the quarterback position that they had ever seen ever even better than Tom Brady, who the vast majority of people consider to be the greatest football player, <clears throat> NFL player of all time. Fantastic. As you guys know as well, after the Super Bowl was finished, we got the information that the Super Bowl was the single most watched television event in the history of the United States with over 103 million people. It was 100, yeah, I think over 100 million people tuning in. Some people are saying 103, some people are saying 120 million. So it was a pretty big deal, right? And why was it a big deal? Because you had a big draw. You had some big names, the Chiefs. And of course, you had the 49ers who have a big a fan base. And of course, you have Patrick Mahomes. So what happens? At ESPN, they were trying to concoct um, this, 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 this topic to talk about. So they're there talking. And in the panel, I think it was Shannon Sharp, Molly Karam, Pat McAfee, I forgot the last gentleman. I saw the clip yesterday. And they asked the following question. Who is the most popular, active, current um, American star right now in the United States? So Pat McAfee said Patrick Mahomes. The other guest said Patrick Mahomes. And when it got time to Shannon Sharp, would you believe, would you believe that Shannon Sharp said that Patrick Mahon, that LeBron James is a better is a bigger draw than Patrick Mahomes. LeBron James is a bigger draw than Patrick Mahomes. Before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by our brand new sponsor, Price Picks. Price Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players. Pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is we want to play this exchange for you now and then we want to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to that there. Patrick Mahomes has been box office. He has been box office. You talk about the three Super Bowl MVPs, the two regular season MVPs, but it's hard for me to believe that there's somebody in North American sports bigger box office than LeBron James. He just, mm. He's LeBron. He's LeBron. 
He's LeBron, and he moves the needle. Clicks, likes, mentions, jersey sales, conversation, $125-30 million in endorsement and salary. It's hard, and, and I love Patrick Mahomes. Shannon. I gave him the I gave him the name my homeboy. And then State Farm didn't want to give me no credit, so they started calling him my homie. You see what they did to him P back? That's messed they, up. They took me out. They took uh, me out. Of Wait, Shannon, hold on, hold on. Put me on camera right now. Okay. okay. Yeah. I get it. King, LeBron James, there's been no one I, I, I'm with you. But you think still now, you don't think it's like LeBron's a little past his prime, no, not winning still- championships, while Patrick Mahomes is in the midst of a dynasty? Yeah, he's in the midst of a dynasty. But name recognition, brand recognition, you said box office. You're not saying who's playing the best. You said box office. Box office means ticket sales. Box off- Hey, p back. I thought box office means money. Who generates <sighs> the most money for whom? That's yeah. what I thought. Bob. I don't now, know. Maybe, maybe, the NFL well, was king hey, last bro. time I checked. No, but, 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 the NFL? But, but, most yeah, but hold on, Super hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You said, hold on. Now, you said the NFL. I'm saying you said bo- po- you said when box office, you're talking about that in, in you talking about that individual, not the entity. Hey, Shannon, I'm going to say this. When I was in high school, Braun was a couple years older than me. His high school team, St. X, came and played the Pennsylvania All-Stars in Pittsburgh. The entire state of Pennsylvania put together an All-Star team to play against LeBron James's high school team. And I was in high school. Sold out the arena. LeBron yeah. has been selling out arenas literally since he's like 15, 16 years old. So I can understand why you're saying what you're saying. And then you think about Omar, who runs ESPN social media. He's literally made an entire career being considered one of the greatest interneters of all time off of LeBron James and LeBron James's family. Let's not even talk about just LeBron James. On the internet, he's been able to do it. But right now, I mean, if this question was asked like 10 years ago, I think to Molly's point, five years ago, maybe even four years ago before Patrick Mahomes has become mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes, I think LeBron James might be the answer. And I, I – understand complete because he still sells out every a building he goes into Shannon every yeah. building that LeBron goes into is selling out that is just how it's always been so I can see how that's uh yeah I, I, do, mean, he's think pretty big the, I do think the messy takes pretty interesting though yeah I mean look Go, at what he's done sure. if we're talking global box office so you heard what Shannon Sharp had to say I'm trying to figure out what would possess Shannon Sharp to say this what would possess him to say this Patrick Mahomes plays the most the most popular sport in the United States. Let's look at the viewership of how many people. Um, let's see how many people watch the NFL. The NFL is averaging about seventeen point nine million viewers per game. The NBA is a much smaller number. Now, in aggregate, if we take all of the NFL games. And we combine all of their views, and then we combine all of the NBA games, the average views, then the numbers are pretty close. But if they added more games to the NFL calendar, it's not even close. The fact of the matter is, there's a higher interest for the NFL than there is for the NBA. Whatever movement Shannon Sharp believes he's talking about, maybe by looking at Bleacher Reports, Instagram account, this Instagram account, that Instagram account. LeBron's followers on social media, none of that translates to actually people sitting down and watching LeBron play basketball. It doesn't really translate. It does not. It doesn't translate to people sitting down and watching. There are a lot of people, if you go to Instagram accounts, for example, someone may have 100,000 followers, right? And they may put up a post. Go look and you tell me if the ratio isn't 2 to 3%, maybe 5% if you're good of the aggregate amount of followers you have. So just by looking at those numbers while I look at the social, it doesn't matter. You got to look at the numbers that you really, really see. And Patrick Mahomes moves the needle. He was just a part of the biggest sporting event in the history of the United States television history, whatever you want to call it. The history. The most viewed game ever was a hundred million plus view game, live viewers across various platforms. The highest viewed game ever for an NBA game was in the 1998 NBA finals featuring Michael Jordan, which brought in about 35 million viewers. There's never been a game like that before. If the NBA were to get 20 million people to watch an NBA finals game, they'd be lucky. Now, 
if they add up all of the games together over a seven game series, then you get the views. And that's the reason why you have so many games. They knew that. OK, <clears throat> we're going to get X amount of people to watch these games. So if we multiply the games, if we increase the games, then we're going to make more revenue. That's the reason why they did more games. Like, that's the reason why the format was created. But for Shannon Sharp to say that, man, typical uh, Shannon Sharp. I don't even know what to say.